hello. Hello, hello. Let me push a button. Oh, hang on. I can't do that. It's got to be not full screen. Keep forgetting that. Keep forgetting that. You can't be full screen. Full screen's not allowed. Otherwise, it just shows a black image. Oh, am I clipped? I'm clipped. Why am I clipped? Is it because... Which change the size of this? Why is it clipped? That's weird. Hmm. That is weird. So what settings have changed now then? <coughs> Would it be this? You just just try and move this bloody screen. Oh, you bastard! You just try and move this run. <coughs> oh, sort of. Oh, I don't know. Hang on. Let me just try one more time. Click. No, nearly. We're getting there, folks. We're getting there. Uh, look at that. It's not bad. It's not bad. Clipped a bit of the stream yard. The word yard is gone, but ha, it'll do. Anyway, hello. There's about oh, 40, 50 of you. Is there in the uh, 53 watching at the moment? Oh, sorry, I'm leaning back in my chair, which makes me go all like that. Um. Yeah, hello. So, uh, hello to Tim the Pigeon Master, Anthony Wilkinson, Dano AVFC, Lee Bridgewater. Um, yeah, he says he likes to watch it back in 4K. Well, yeah, because the quality of the premieres is always a bit basic. I don't know why they don't show it in true 1080p. They show it in sort of like mucky 1080p, um, which is a shame. But there we are. Mm. Hello, Captain Caveman. Neo Adventures. Um... Half an hour. Um, Melissa Jones Paranormal. Well known unknown. Neo Adventures. Um, yeah, abandoned and forgotten whales. I uh, yeah, I have stocked up on the beer. I went and got out and got some. So yeah. Uh, mm. What's that? I broke it. No, I didn't. But. Um, I can't remember how you bloody resize these windows. I think there must be a shortcut for it somewhere, but I don't, I don't know. What happens if I... Well, watch me screw this up now. If I press control. What happens if I press control? Does it do it? No. What if I hold down shift? Does that do it? No. What about alt? No. Is not Where's the resize? I want to know how to resize. What about shift control? No. Shift alt? No. How the how do you, there's got to be like a way to resize? Does anybody know how to resize a window without having to go all the way to the bloody edges like this, and then, and then make it a bit smaller like that? Because that's a pain in the ass. But that's the way you have to do it, and it always seems to just you have to do it about four times before you get it right. So you have to get it a little bit like that. Um, somebody's just sent me a message. Ooh. Yeah, okay. So I was like, see what I mean? Right. And you always never quite get it. So it's got to be just a little bit more. Dee, 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 dee. That's probably it. It's a right pain, isn't it? And then you can kind of stretch it on. I don't know why it's lost its size. Uh, I would have a little bit of white at the top and bottom. There we go. But, um, yeah. So who else is in there? Ray Putt. Uh, Loopy Lou, Robert Cheney, Robes. Can I change the green screen to something funny? Yeah, we could do that for you, I suppose. Uh, what have we got then? Um, let's have a look whether the camera shows up. It sometimes doesn't let me do this if I, if it's not happy. Um, yeah. What 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 should we have then? This. Should we have should we have this? Um, like, is that funny enough for you? Seeing a grown man in his uh, in his underwear is that funny enough for you? Look, there we are. Look, look at that. Is that funny enough for you? <laughs> is, that, is that funny enough for you? 40k subscribers. <laughs> is that funny enough? Mm. Maybe, maybe we should have this. Maybe we should have this. Where is it? Maybe we should have this. I 
that's my approximation of the uh, of that f that face on that character there. Um, mm, what else have I got that's funny? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I have got some funny pictures, but some people find them a bit distasteful. So um, we could have this. We could have uh, Grogu. Yeah, Grogu. As was it? <laughs> Give him a kiss. Mm, pull his pull his uh, pubes out of his ears. Mm. Should we have a Grogu in? The, the trouble is with a lot of these backgrounds, you see, is you have to pick a background that doesn't focus on the centre. It, it's more about what's going on around the edges, which is why that picture is quite good, because it's more about what's around the edges, if you noticed. Um, so you've got to pick your pick your things. There we are, look. Different type of library, you see, again. It's more about what's going on on the edges than necessarily in the centre. So, um, yeah. Let's have a look then. Before we start talking about why we actually came here. <laughs> that would be stupid, wouldn't it? Talking about why we actually needed to come here. Are you are you crazy? Um, let's have a look. I've got pic picture folders somewhere, but I don't know. I have got photos. I've got tons of them, but like I say, a lot of them are very distasteful photos. Uh, so I'm, I'm maybe I'm best off not going in my folder for that sort of stuff. Hmm. Anyway, we'll stay with that library for tonight then. Um, right, so what are people saying then? Matt, your room is the best. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a bit. It's on a bit. It's on the piss. Have you noticed that the image is actually tilted? It's not straight. Um, forty say forty k subscribers. Yeah, yeah. Just saw your package. It was pleasant. Well, I thought it looked a bit saggy myself, but um, yeah. Oh well. I'll try harder next time. Um, so what have I got in the way of news then? We'll, we'll talk about nuclear stuff in a sec, but what have I got in the way of news? Um, blah, 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 blah. Just trying to think. I watched Taffy's video today of the... What do they call it? I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. He got into their house. You know, they're, they're in a castle in North Wales or something. He got in that place. It was quite interesting. Um, <laughs> I think I think it sounded like as if he was a bit stressed at the end because he was going, "Oh look, mate, I not cause you any trouble. I not cause you any trouble. No, no, I'm not, I'm not going to do anything. It's not like I would punch you or anything or or do anything. Uh, uh, but I'm I don't want." And he kept saying, "I don't want to cause you any trouble. I'm not. I I I I'm I'm just out. We're just good friends. We're you know. I don't not cause you any trouble." And I was like, "Oh my god!" He sounded like as if he was. Uh, um yeah a little bit stressed see came across a little bit stressed but yeah sorry taff i mean you know i know you're hardcore you're hardcore but you you also uh <laughs> a very um you, you 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 sort of like bent over for them i would have just gone now nah, we're just having a look i want to film it and stick on my youtube channel and they'd be like oh you can't do that and they're like yeah i can <laughs> that's what i would have been like yeah actually i can <laughs> Mm. TV companies don't ask bloody permission when they come along and film you, do they? And they jam you on television. They don't ask permission. So why should we ask permission? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, he's lucky. He deleted his... He did delete his footage off his camera. So he complied with their request to delete his footage, which wasn't shown in the thing. He probably talks about it later on in his live stream. But he complied with their um, request, and then he um, he uh, he undeleted it when he got home. He got his mate to undelete the footage, so uh, he's very lucky because yeah, that quite often doesn't work, and you can get corrupted um, corrupted footage. So he is very lucky to have got that. Um, yeah. Um, what's that then? Uh, somebody said somebody is beautiful. What's that about? We are in New Zealand, a two-tier society. Oh, yeah, dear. Yeah, it's a bit it's a bit crazy, isn't it, at the moment, with all this bullshit. Um, hmm, yeah, I feel sorry for, for people in New Zealand and Australia. Uh, apparently it's getting quite bad in Canada as well. They're chasing people down, like, you know, trying to force them to have the vaccines. 
Uh, it's all going to end very badly, this, you know. There's going to be a massive backlash from people saying, like, you can't force people. You cannot force people to have this stuff. Um, it's a medical intervention, and you cannot force people to have medical things without their permission. Doesn't don't matter what you think about whether or not it's good or not for society. If people don't want it, people shouldn't have to have it. Mm. Matt, is the background an Amazon warehouse? No, I don't know what it is actually. Um, where did somebody say? Did somebody say this was? Northern Ireland, or was it my other one, is Northern Ireland. It's a university in Northern Ireland. Uh, it's probably, I don't know, it's pretty crazy, isn't it? Very crazy. Yeah. And all the money they spend on bloody weird design stuff like this, you know, and it's just like, yeah. Hmm. Um, right, so what have we got then? Tony from Port Talbot, hello. Um, how do I see it all ending? Um, I think herd immunity is going to be is going to come, whether people you know want it or not, whether the government want it or not. I don't think the the, the drug companies don't want it, you know. Uh, but I think eventually herd immunity is going to come, and I think the best thing to do, to be perfectly honest, would be for Omicron, which is a very, uh, very weak variant. It would be just better to say, let everyone get it. Just, just let everyone mingle and, and get it because the more people that get it and keep getting it and keep getting it because it's weak, the more you keep getting it and keep getting it, yeah, the more we're going to become immune to it. So, I would say now is the ideal opportunity. But there we are. I don't, you know, what what do I know? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Geordie Vapor says he's hoping his work bans the unvac from going into the office ever again. That would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, work from home. And it saves the businesses a lot of money, and the landlords can then shove their extortionate prices up their arse for renting the premises, and uh, everyone gets to work from home. Great. Why not? Save petrol, save the planet, save having to go into work. I like the sound of that. Um, hi, Winnie Witch. Hello. So, um, no shots. Let the coof coof loose. Yeah, indeed. Um, so, right. Well, I suppose we better better talk about um, the stuff. I'm going to put a link in the chat channel. So, if anybody wants to come up. Um, but I haven't had a response from Simon in Plymouth. But he might come up. You never know. Um, just in case. Because he was actually on the boat with me that day. So, there was Tom and Simon from Derelict Plymouth Unearthed and uh, they were pointing out some of the things that were down there. Uh, Scrinson uh, mentioned just a minute ago that he said that um, uh, what was it 4.5 something shells uh, were stored in that that base. I think it's probably got a lot of things that people don't know mm. because um, a lot of these places um, a lot of these places store things that people don't know about and that is a pretty big facility there and um, I know they they try to tell everybody oh look it all happens all the nuclear stuff and all the trident stuff it happens in Scotland it happens in Scotland but I think you'll probably find that you couldn't afford to let it happen in just one place because if something went wrong with that place or if that place got bombed then you wouldn't have your deterrent and you wouldn't have your ability to handle things. So they're not going to do that, are they? They're going to have multiple places out there that deal with these things. And therefore, uh, what better place than a massive dockyard like uh, like Plymouth? And I would not be at all surprised if uh, under the dead of night and under surreptitious circumstances, um, nuclear stuff is hiked on and off submarines down in Plymouth but they don't want anyone to know about it and uh, that is the way the British government and the Ministry of Defence they they don't want you knowing stuff and uh, I've got a video coming up which I can't talk about till the new year uh, where I think this is demonstrated quite well whereby the locals are completely unaware of what's going on at a military base and we're going to actually 
discuss it and uh, open a few people's eyes. Um, I had a whiff of what was going on there many years ago, over 20 years ago. Um, but now it's starting to become a lot clearer, like, oh yeah, I, now it makes sense. You know, now it makes sense because of something that happened to us the, the other day. So, oh. Hey, Brady, you want to come up on the stream? You're more than welcome if you want to come in. Um, so, yeah. Right, this place then, I mean, basically, as I said, uh, you know, it's it's down in Plymouth. It's further along up the coast, up at, well, up the river from where all the uh, Navy ships and everything are. So it puts it a little bit, you know, kind of out of the way in a little bit of a quieter area. But um, it's, it's strangely, I mean, it's got houses fairly nearby. So if there was a massive explosion, uh, it's quite possible it, it could do damage to houses in the area. And um, yeah, I mean, God knows what they've got there. But I mean, if there was ever a nuclear accident, uh, yeah, it'd probably take out half of Plymouth. So um, yeah. Uh, somebody saying MOD St. Athens? Yes, because that is, um, uh, it was due to be mothballed. Jamie Reese is, is saying RAF St. Athens. That was where I used to live, just down the road from St. Athens. And um, yeah, I used to play at going up to um, the Cardiff Wales Airport. I used to cycle up there on my bike and uh, used to go on top of Cardiff Wales Airport and look at the aircraft and took cine film of aircraft and stuff up there it's great fun um and just across the way was RAF St Athens so when I learned to fly I took off from Cardiff Wales Airport and when you take off you basically can see RAF St Athens down on your right hand side so you've got to avoid that but it's uh, it's not very far away from the end of the runway at, uh, at Cardiff Wales so you can see it quite clearly mm. uh. Yeah, um, Nana J's Adventures. We were proud in New Zealand for refusing nuclear ships. We are hardly a great country now, sadly. <laughs> no, I think New Zealand is a great country because, I mean, by refusing to be part of this bullshit, you know, uh, you've probably reduced the, p the possibility of you being nuked. You know, because any country that handles nuclear weapons or could fire off nuclear weapons is going to be a target in a world war so you know by avoiding all of that then you uh, take yourself down you take yourself down on the uh, oh risk risk uh, well not what's the, what's the word risk calendar risk form risk assessment risk chart you be, come down on the risk chart scale so yeah mm. oh. Yeah, so this place that we, we're talking about, I mean, I'll just bring it up on screen so you can see. So we shared the screen. So here we are. You can see how this is good old StreamYard and how StreamYard works. So let's bring up uh, where we are, Google Earth. Now, will it work if I go full screen? Or will it? Oh, it does. Yes. Right. OK. So let me type in Plymouth. Plymouth. Doo -doo. So it does the animation for me. Go on. In you go. There it goes. Woo! There we are. So, yeah, so this is what I was doing earlier on. You zoom into Plymouth, and um, you've got a lot of military stuff. But over, over this side of Plymouth, it's a little bit more commercial stuff. So this is all commercial side of Plymouth. So on here, it's more commercial uh, shipping. And then the moment you get to about about here and along you've got um, the forts and it starts to become a little bit more military so you've got fort stuff there then you've got the public areas here and then right after this corner here um, it used to be it used to be military um, along this this section oh hello Emil so thank you for your donation of one pound. Very kind. And thank you for doing it through um, through the correct method, which is oh, uh, <laughs> it's the it's the method whereby um, hang on, let me just put on the 
let me put on the banners there we are I forget to do this there we are via that method yes well done um, because if you donate with that it means that we get all the money rather than uh, YouTube nicking it right so here we are then so you've got a, you've got another number of these little juts out on uh, the, the Plymouth sort of landscape and this was a very heavy military quarter over here so I think almost all of this used to be military but now you've got a lot of houses there and um, you know this was all military stuff over here um, very pretty it is too and uh, yeah so that's that and directly opposite it is something that some of you should recognize Anyone recognise that? Anyone recognise that? Yeah. And the big old mansion house behind it called Mount Wise. That's the house, it's called Mount Wise. And this is the Mount Wise nuclear bunker. So there you go, that's the nuclear bunker. And uh, that time that I <laughs> I fell, I think it was it was trying to get from this roof to this roof and I jumped and there was a, there was that discrepancy that was that height difference and uh, something happened I think it was from that roof to that roof yeah and I jumped and just went down like a big gap and just went tumbling ass over tit on that roof there so yeah anyway so let's come back out and orientate orientate ourselves with facing north again so this is um commercial and public shipping here and it comes along it comes along um, just to about past the um, the swimming pool and this this thing here which is like a ship for the kids so uh, it comes to about there and then the moment you get this far then it all becomes military so everything from here onwards is military now I wonder if I can, I'm not sure if I can draw on this oh Geordie Vapor, thank you. Recently discovered your channel. Love the content. All the best. Thank you, mate. Thank you very much. So, yeah, basically all this over here is public houses that you can see. And then all of this is military and it keeps going up. So, yeah, the delineation line, I'll draw it for you, right? So you got, so it's sort of like that, 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 that. And then it, everything else is military. So, um, yeah. So let's have a little look. It's cool, isn't it, when you do that? Because you can like see it, see all the lines you've drawn on the map as you spin around. But everything is military then. Look at that slipway. That's a that's a fucking slip. Excuse my language, but that is a fucking slipway. Look at that fucking slipway. Yeah, that's a slipway. And they got another one around the corner as well. Look, you know, look at that for a slipway. They don't bugger about, do they, the military? Right, so all of this is navy. And they've got these little docking yards here and they've got dry docks as well further up but you can see all of this is still military right um, I'm just trying to think now whether this bit here is public road let me just let me just have a look I think that's inside that's actually that's inside the military base that is so if you come up to the road uh, am I correct in saying that I think this is military at this point. Yeah, everything inside here is military. So all this is military, but then it, these are public houses on the left. And it goes down. You see that massive wall? Can you see the wall? That's a bad boy wall, look. Yeah. So that's a bad boy wall. And that wall goes all the way down. So everything here is all military. And then you've got a few public houses here. But then it doesn't go very far before it becomes military again. So all of this is military again here. So it starts to become military. Uh, let's have a little look. Uh, I think probably quite far up. Quite far up. Um, right. So let's have a look. Right. So you got you coming along. Um, this is all military. This is all military. Uh, this. I think is the ferry port so the military stuff stops here so as far as as far as that as far as here that you can see that's military okay 
but this bit here with the uh, with the road that you can see in yellow all the way to the ferry port then that becomes public again so you can get on the ferries so there's one two three one two three ferry port okay and then to the side of it again I think this is military all of this is military all of this is military this is very definitely military okay this this huge these huge dockyards here are all belonging to the military can you see the Babcock sign on the side of the building Babcock because they're private contractors that run run that site for the military so it's in you know private contractors and then you've got right next to that what you can't see from the uh, from the sea level is the submarines um, and apparently the yes they do have their engines are still intact because the British knew how to commission them and spent the money to commission them but don't know how to decommission them and don't want to spend the money to decommission them so they're just leaving them there like you know a ticking time bomb uh, just leaving the uh, the fuel rods and everything on board and yeah so that's where the the submarines are so of course you've got more military stuff here now this is a main road but you can see there's a big wall you can see the big wall so the main road is where the yellow bit is okay and then there's a massive wall and gates and gates and wall and wall and wall so everything to the north is public and everything to the south of this wall is military so right i mean basically it keeps going and keeps going and you can see it's just massive 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 it keeps going keeps going <laughs> and it keeps going it keeps going I think this is where that submarine that we were looking at uh, beginning with T Thulston or, or something well I can't remember what it was called now that was parked up here that submarine was parked in this bay um, and yeah it keeps going it keeps going that massive wall is there uh, to stop stop people getting in but yeah it's uh, well or a, or a fence and it becomes uh, public housing up in this section so right, I'll have a look at your comments in a second because I'm concentrating on this at the moment but yeah so um, I wish I could draw on this with a with a with a pen to show you but what I'll do is I'll I'll create a plot line and let me see if I can create oh yes if I do it with massive width let me just make it massive width on the line and see what that is so let's say basically then uh, it's like there you go right so if I bring this out of the way can I bring that out of the way yep so everything military all the way up there all the way along the coastline all the way up here right is just the normal navy base so that's like normal navy as far as I'm aware okay so that's like up there so that's uh, that's kind of like that uh, tell me if I, I might be slightly wrong here folks but that's kind of like that's the military base okay then if you come further up here this is the bomb bomb store now look how big Plymouth is and I'll give you an idea of how that the distance of this this thing I'll measure it here okay so if I put the measurement tool on Okay, from there to there in meters is five kilometers which in miles is 3.1 miles so that that naval base is 3.1 miles long along the coast and then look how big look how big the uh, area with the uh, bomb dump is it's all the way along here it includes this jetty out into the sea then it goes all the way up here, all the way up here, and uh, I think it goes kind of like this then. Um, right, so that's how big the military the military bit is. So maybe I've changed the colour. Change the colour to ye like yellow or something so you can see it a little bit better. There we are. So that's the area of the um, bomb dump. Okay, so let's take a fly down then and have a look. Okay, and you can see that there are some unusual unusual things here, like these sort of boxes and things.
things on top of the hill and some more unusual stuff there which might be related to it which is inside the fence line because you can see the fence line there can you see it so this is not like it's it's a public thing you know you can see the fence line coming along here okay and naturally it's impossible for people to see this because can you see how it's a hill so from the motorway this is a motorway here you can't see in because of the natural hill so it's a perfect place for them to hide things but look we have little buildings like this on the top. Now why would they be there like that? Why would a little building like that be there on the top? Unless some of these tunnels were very deep. Because that building there might be an air breather. Look at these things here as well. This is all on the military site. Yeah, it's quite interesting, isn't it? Look, what are these things there? Oh. Now I know from people I've spoken to, they get very twitchy if anyone anyone comes ne even near the fence line over here which is quite a long way away from the base you know because you can't see over the top but they still don't like you even coming near the fence line so then you come over and you've got these uh, you've got these air breathers that you can see here but as I say you know you've got this thing in the distance as well so what's that what's that up there so uh, Scrinton says the mast was on the hill a mast okay what uh where was it on on this bit scrinson was it on this like one point or are you talking about one two three four these four concrete four concrete points yeah because i'm guessing that some of this including this here you see a little sort of building what's that what's that you know that's on top overlooking the hill so what was all that about you know and there's the there's the base base beneath so uh, and you can see the base let's just get rid of this you can see the base has um, uh, it has its own little so sort of like sluice down here um, that's channeling water to various parts of the uh, various parts of the base so it's channeling water around um, and it seems to go almost in a square look all around this section like as if they maybe it's like a moat almost but it's almost it's also possibly because this protected section here which has all these very big concrete walls and blast proof areas look the blast blast deflectors Right, it's almost like as if they want that water there for some reason. They need the water near this facility in case something goes wrong. They need a lot of water to hand. So you can see the railway. I was telling you it had its own little railway. Well, um, I believe, I believe that this is this is the main line. This is the main railway line. Okay, so that gets used for normal trains. Uh, and but they can divert off there onto their own special track, and then you've got another junction system here. Look for the for the military, and it appears that some of it is actually outside the base. So um, there would obviously be gates to let let it go inside the base somewhere. But it comes all the way up here, and I think it goes through a tunnel, and then ends up back in. You know, it goes under the river, the the, uh, the Tamar Bridge, which is there. It goes under the Tamar Bridge, and you can see that the the railway keeps coming and keeps coming, and goes all the way along, all the way along here, right under under this bridge. And whoop, 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 whoop. that just keeps it keep going, keep going, and it comes into uh, it splits there. Look, oh no no that that's so one railway goes underneath and the one from the Tamar bridge goes on top so there's you can see there's a split there so uh, then I think they join back up they join back up near here and then you've got two two rail lines so one goes across the Tamar bridge and one goes into Plymouth and goes to the various rail stations at some point the 
Kiam. That's that's a rail station. Uh, where is the main rail station? We probably still haven't got to it yet. So, uh, 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 so oh, looks like a tunnel. Oh, not a very big one, but yeah, uh, tunnel railway, railway, railway. It seems to be going north. Uh, there it is. That building there is the rail building, and that's the um, the railway for Plymouth. So that's Plymouth Railway Station, and carries on up north. But if you're going to Cornwall, you'll probably come down here, and all the way, oops, all the way across. He says, if I can get it to zoom out, you come all the way down and around here, um, up the up the coast. And you end up coming either along the River Tamar Bridge, or you you come up past the military base, which is up here. So you come up past the military base and curve around that way. So anyway, that's that's just to explain to you they've got their own little railway network that um, forks off, so they could uh, quite easily have deliveries of stuff on rail secretly at night as well as uh, from from road um, but you've got uh, you've got some interesting buildings like these look that are actually built up on a on a sort of um, well what would you call it it's like a but it's these are separate bunkers so if they explode the explosion force is going to go upwards sideways rather than go outwards so it's trying to deflect the uh, deflect a lot of the whoops oh I've cocked it up now haven't I I've gone halfway across to, to America by the looks of it oh shit there we are that happens sometimes yeah so there's Plymouth let's get back to where we were right. oh dear that happens if you start scrolling at the top of the screen it goes very fast so let's have a look at some of the other buildings they've got here then so um, yeah Depot facilities. Uh, look at the pipes that come out of this building and go into a, like a little special building here, and the pipes go in and out. So it's possible that there's some sort of storage there. Um, you've got this kind of river come. Um, what's the term they use for these now? Um, oh God, I forget. Ditch. They've got these ditches, drainage ditches. But they could be, uh, in addition to being drainage ditches, they could be uh, for providing water as well. Emergency water, it's possible. Um, but anyway, it's an interesting place. And uh, obviously the stuff that goes into the hills. I mean, there's a carting centre just off the edge of the uh, the fence line. It's a cart, you know, like uh, carting and um, scrambler bikes just off the edge of the fence line and uh, this is the way in from the road so let's go and have a quick gander at what it looks like see if we can walk down the oops see if we can walk down the road is it gonna let us that's the that's the thing so I bet it's not gonna let us know so you can't actually get in any further than that from Street View but you can you can oh god piss off piss off look at it Look at it. Bollocks to you. You bastard. Sorry. Oh, there we are. We haven't gone too far. Right. Um, so it's a massive car park there for uh, lorries and things on the way in. Oh, no. What's that? DVSA Driving Test Centre. Sorry, I'm misorientated here. Sorry, misorientated. That road comes down and eventually... You will come to the uh, the checkpoint, which uh, is that it? Is that the checkpoint? That's the checkpoint. Yeah, there we are. Look, that's the security. Whoops, stay. That's the checkpoint, and security huts, and uh, yeah, and the car park for people to uh, park their cars if they're going in on foot, if they're not allowed to take a vehicle in. So sure, yeah. There's a lot of stuff stored in there. Now, it'd be interesting if Scrinson would come in. But let's, hang on, I'm going to stop sharing that now. Hang on, and see what people have got to say. Uh, we haven't got anybody in uh, 
in yet. I tell you what, give me a minute, give me a minute, because uh, kidney stones and this means I've got to have a quick comfort break. So I'll come and answer your questions then. So give me a sec. Right, I'm back. I need to create, if I ever get round to it, I need to create like a little uh, button I can press and it'll do, um, it'll do like music and graphics like my startup, like this thing. But just a little sort of quiet thing that says intermission, <laughs> maybe a countdown, Matt, Matt will be back in, you know, like give me two minutes or something, you know, and count down. Matt will be back. I need to do that with a bit of music and uh, just something so I don't have to just go, you know, and blank the screen with that because it's a bit basic and I'm doing that. Oh, right. Somebody's just sent me a message. Let me just, uh, Barry said, Barry said I put the wrong link before. Did I? Oh. Oh, okay. Um, invite. That's weird. Copy to clipboard. Let me just paste it in then. Try that. Try that. Maybe there maybe there are people wanting to come in. Thank you very much for letting me know. Uh, 122, that was just sent, yeah. Uh, Melissa sent me something. Ooh, maybe I should listen to it privately. Hang on. <laughs> She's just saying the same thing. So thank you, Melissa. Very kind. There we are. Right. So, um, right. Let's have a look. Um, what people? What have people been? What have people been saying? Melon Madness says all this negativity. I'm off. So, what are people? Hi, Matt. Piss off. Hi, Matt. Piss off. Really? Okay. I shall. I shall just for you. Piss off. Not really, but whatever. Um, yeah. uh, Camp Busker, I was hoping to have some people who were going to be adding to the uh, conversation about this this thing. I know you want to come on, but I wanted to get some people who were going to be like you know talking about this kind of subject. So let's see. Are you capable of adding something to this this? thing about the uh, military yeah, base. Actually, when you were on the maps, I noticed when you were in the waterfront area, there was an area that looked like an area where they could sneak barges in with materials, too. Mm. Let's have a look, then. Let's... Oh, a mill donated £1. 92% of England is off limits to the general public. Well, yeah, exactly. Let's bring it back up, then. Um, thank you for that. Now, by the way, if you want to ask a specific question, it's always best to put it in... Uh, Put it in capitals. Right, let's go back and have a look then. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. You can see it. Yeah, right. Okay, so let's get back to the river. Are you on about at the um, the munitions place? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was, it was, it was I was uh, talking. Uh, 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 go, uh, go to, to the, the left. left. Yeah. It was it when was you were uh, talking, uh, talking about, about the naval, naval bases, bases and the submarines. submarines. Yeah. Well, they've got their own little um, tunnel here. That see that road? It comes out and comes up onto the jetty, so they can get stuff off boats off this jetty, uh, and they can bring stuff. It was down. something that looked like it, it was a waterway that possibly sloped down, like it had a concrete structure around covering it. Around this area down here, it's quite. I, I think it's quite nondescript down this end, but. It was over where the submarines were when you were talking about them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's a slipways. There's plenty of slipways. Yeah. There's plenty of slipways for sure. Yeah. And it was like a concrete structure that sloped over and went out into the river there. Yeah, look, 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 look. Look, I've just found more. 
Wow. I've that just looks like a bunker. Those, those are bunkers. Look, I said the bunkers were all on this side of the hill, going up here, remember? Going up there, and there's various bunkers oh, and know. things. And guess what? If you go on their road, and you go under the tunnel and around, the road goes round, and look on this side of the hill. What have we got? We've got more tunnels. Look, roadway into a tunnel, roadway into a tunnel. Right. And and it looks, looks like it's like being maintained pretty good, too. Yeah. Oh. Urban legend. Hang on. He sent me a message. He says, oh, it's echoing. Hang on a sec. Let me just um, put my oh, headphones on. Thank you. Thank you. Open my Is it echoing off of my mic? And if you've got yours? headphones and you can manage to put them on, it'll probably help as well. But there we go. Hopefully... Uh, yeah. Anyway, so yes, so there's um, there's a couple of uh, ways in. That looks like another, a, a third. And then look at this um, look at this roadway that goes up here to something that you can't even really see. Look there, there. Hang huh. on. Let's just have a look. Look, that's that's probably it through looks the like trees. A water to me. Yeah. Look, look. You can see the door. Look, the blue of the door. Yeah. There's like some serious blast doors. It looks like it's kind of open at the top, though, with the door. I think it's like probably it's like the. All the way up. No, I think it's that's probably just shadows. I think it's got a concrete roof, blue door, and you can't see it, but it's, yeah. I mean, like, yeah. It it's seems just like, like that whole hillside area is riddled with bunkers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't because if the, you go up and over to the left. There it look like there's some other uh, ones that are a little farther up too. Yeah. So the so that those are the, the ones are there. Um, I'm not sure what the deal is with where this road would go, and let's have a look at if there's enough of a hill here to make it worthwhile them hiding something in in this hill because look there's this hill as well. So let's have a look what they've got here. Oops, that looked like um, a gate. Is that a gate? Yeah, that's a fencing. Uh, looks like a, one of those electronic ones. Or maybe it's just a gate. Look, maybe that's just. And there's a, gate. a guardhouse too. Look. I'm not sure. Not sure. So that's there's possible. There's something to the right on the possible on, the, on that gate. roadway near that gate. But I I wonder whether that gate comes around and you can get you can get to the uh, to civilization. Well, look, no, it goes into another military base. Look. So it's a way through this military base, through yeah. through underneath the bridge, and it comes out into this thing. So it's it's part of this other military base, which is over here. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, and then if you look, there's also a, a roadway that looks like it takes somewhere else too. Well, actually, the Ta that's the Tamar Bridge offices. Look, that's the Tamar Bridge offices. But they've the, the road comes down and goes into this like grotty-looking yard where they've got all their rubbish, and then it becomes a secret little road at the end. Look, it becomes a secret yeah. little road that you you keep driving on that secret road, round the corner, under the bridge, and then you come out on this road. And then you you join, you know, you join. So that's a secret little um, way in and out of the base. Little back door way. Mm. Mm. So now what I was wondering is would they be able to store anything on this side of the hill? Because that's that's the main road there. So the there must be a fence line. I can see. It looks it. like there something is. possibly could be there. Yeah. Could possibly be something there, but so there from, is some buildings and stuff. Yeah, from the road you can just about see like let's put i wonder if we can put ourselves on the road if i put myself on the road there right now if you look because everything's very well hidden you can't really see anything from the road but guess what you can just see an entrance way to a bunker there look and another roadway to the, the other bunker yeah just barely though just barely but it's very hard to see i mean they've they've done all this to kind of make it hard to see for people to realize what's there Ah, now I understand why. They, oh fuck! What's going on now? What, what? 
oh I don't know what it's doing it's just it just goes crazy sometimes it just like whooshes you off somewhere else it's which is just done so there we are um let me bring it back so yeah uh basically then all the all of this Google, uh, Google Earth for a while now yeah all of this side has tunnels all of this side over here has tunnels I wonder if these tunnels go all the way through the hill and you drive out the other side so you drive in one side and come all you the way out the other that side one road that, uh, you know, I'm looking north on that hill and there's that uh, road that looks like it goes up and then in the tree it like it disappears what up yeah here? right into there yeah you see where that building is and you see the road that comes down that goes to the looks to, that goes it goes down and then it go, uh, goes towards the trees where those other bunkers are. Yeah. It looks like. So it's a and then farm there's also yard. That secret... hmm. It's a farm. But it had. And then everything is off the back end of this thing down here. Now, um, I'm just looking at. There seems to be some sort of uh, shape to something on the top of this hill. Like as if there's some sort of there's some kind of shape to it and and of course you've got this weird little weird little building which is on top all by itself i don't know what that would have been i mean it might have had a radar on it in the past it's possible it was a like a radar looking out across the area it might be i don't know um hmm it's fascinating. I love I love using Google Maps. Look at the the stones coming down from the hill. Look, there's like there's the stones that make their way down. Can you see it? it's like dot 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 dot. Where do they go then? Go. There's a lot of weird stuff they've got on this base though. Hmm. Because yeah, yeah, you can see all sorts of different faci possible facilities and possible barracks and stuff. Yeah. I think it gets a bit steep there and certainly covered in trees but I mean you know the 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 uh the bunkers go right up then all the way up this valley right up here and then there's a, ro a road off to the right if you go back mm. to a little bit there's a road that peels off to the right and disappears well that goes to these bunkers down here they're, they're sort of like they stop then there's one there one there Possibly another one up here, and this one here, which goes all the way up. There's a few, in fact, I think up here, and I'm not sure oh. what this what what this is as well because that looks like concrete, doesn't it? That looks like a bunker. Mm -hmm. That doesn't look normal. Uh, so that that's a bit that's a bit strange. Then you've got the fence line again, and you've got some sort of like maybe a sentry post. Or something on the fence line and you've got more uh, that could be that could be for horses or something on the outside of the fence line and yeah but fascinating I love I love using Google Earth for this sort of stuff you know finding out secrets of places um, and what they've got because it's it's amazing what you can work out and what's that then is that just a big clump of rock? A really big clump of rock. Is that a bit of a lake? And bear in mind they when they have things like lakes and water like that, sometimes they put them uphill and they have them there because they gravity feed down in case they need the water for emergencies. So if that's at one of the highest points, if that water is right above everything else, which it appears to be, that could be a supply which has been put there on purpose because it feeds downhill so it could be uh possibly you know amazing what you mm. so okay they're saying it's me that's echoing okay let me see if i can yeah you need to get a uh headset possibly let me put my headphones yeah let me put my headphones into my system here i think i know why because i'm running off my tv here one sec Okay. Then there's this weird building which they've carved it out for some reason, specifically carved it out. So what what is that for? Why would they carve all of that out like that? 
which it appears to be, that could be a supply. Can't understand Is why they would put... why they would do that unless it was something to do with a bunker or some entrance. Where so, I can't understand why they would have that carved out. And I would bet money that this tall building, which is tucked away here, um, that's got to be a lift shaft. I would, I would bet money that has to be a lift shaft, especially with the security, security booth there as well. Hopefully, they're uh, saying uh, say it's better. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, <laughs> your dog. He's sn yeah. snoring. Is that him snoring? No, he's he's no, he's complaining at me. No, he wants you to make a fuss of him. Mm hmm Yeah. Right. So yeah. Uh, now I should read the comments because somebody might actually tell me um, it's for a bigger bunker, Matt. Yeah, could be the entrance way to a big, big bunker there. You know, I think these two the these two things are probably an entrance and an exit for something that goes through the hill and curls around. I bet you, I would bet money that it it curls around. I'll show you now. I'll draw something. Um, it might go underground, but I would imagine. Oh, hang on. Why did it do that? Stop. No. Let's try again. I would reckon it would go something like this underground and come back out. You know, and that's why they've got two parts left and right. And these these other things, these other um, magazines, they quite possibly go in straight. But what they tend to do is they curve them. So I would imagine most magazines I've ever seen, they curve one way or the other. So they probably curve around and that's to deflect bomb blasts underground. So you'd have that, that would curve underground like that. And then this one would probably curve as well. Uh, so they might not curve. Jesus Christ. That sounds terrible. That sounds really bad. Mm. Now we've got massive amounts of room, room noise. And I'm just it's just echoing really crazily now and it's really loud. It's really loud. Uh, on my end. You're too, you're you're just so I loud. Just my it's, clip, to see it. it's clipping like crazy now because you're so you're so loud. Right, let me read some comments. Let me read some comments. I tell you I tell you what, I'm gonna take you off for a minute, okay? It's going a bit crazy, mate. Okay, you're going a little bit crazy with the audio and madness there, so um Right, uh let's let's read what people's comments are for a minute. Um let's take this off full screen so I can see what's going on. Yeah. He's obviously gonna to have to check his stuff. Scrinson says there's no nuclear storage on this site. That's what they would want you to think. I bet. I bet you secretly there's some stuff stashed away at the back of somewhere that it comes and goes and only two or three people on the whole of that base know it's there. Hmm. Um, because they've done this at most places around the UK which aren't nuclear, but they regularly have... You know, vehicles carrying nuclear materials come up, come along and uh, and stash this stuff there. So, I would not be at all surprised if this place uh, is host to that from time to time. Um, Keith Pointer says they're hoping to store stuff for space. And Tony says, "Good night, Matthew panel." Okay, good night, mate. Um, did I ever Google Earth Rudlow Manor and surround, surrounding MOD sites? Yes, many times. I've done many, many things around there and looked around. Um, yeah, I mean, Google Earth is a very, very good tool for this sort of stuff. So, yeah. Um, right, I need to get more beer. So give me a sec. 
right start the countdown 30 seconds okay so give me a sec be a countdown right Forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three. So my my beer runs are probably a minute, not um, not that. Right, have you sorted out your uh, audio now? Yeah, I think it's fixed. No, it sounds terrible, mate. It's really, really loud. It's crazy loud and clipping now. Uh... I can hear room noise fans and and cars going past and stuff so huh okay let me go into my study here uh you you do you take care of that right and 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 we'll bring you back on in a bit because uh otherwise it's going to become very distracting right um doo -doo 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 -doo. right um yeah keith says it's for a bigger bunker um a lift or water pump station. I don't know. I think the farm is Royal Navy, Royal Marine Equestrian Centre. Oh, so they actually own that as well. Wow. So they'll be watching out for anyone coming near any of that and be re reporting directly back if you took a walk up there. Mm. Yeah. Imagine everything's bloody owned all, all the way around there. Uh, building is definitely attached to the hill. All right. Uh, police took it pretty serious. Um, okay. Oh, Urbex with Taffy. Hey, we were. I was saying earlier on about you. I was going. Don't he look flustered? Didn't he look flustered? He was going. Oh, I don't mean you any harm. I don't mean you any harm. All right. Are you going to come on and tell us about your uh, video then? Coming on. Coming on, Mr. Taff. Look, I'll put the the link in, and you can tell us all about it. Because uh, it was quite good fun. But you 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 looked like you were. You were under under duress a little bit there. <laughs> uh, somebody beeping, waiting for you to come in. Well, no, it's, he's. Have you managed to do it now? I think so. Mm. That's not too bad. Say something. I took off my auto. I took off my auto mic adjustment and turned my mic way down. Yeah, even though you've turned the output of it down, it sounds like it's still clipping but i mean i i think it could possibly be do you could possibly turn it down even more but um turn it down in the mic sensitivity and i will uh he says i will uh turn you up because the thing is you've turned your what now you've turned did you turn your mic down inside Streamyard? that's what you've done haven't you yeah yeah nah nah you need to turn your mic down in Windows. You're clipping in Windows, and I'm on uh, Chrome OS. So what? You so do you have a microphone level independently in that? Uh, let me uh, let me look. Mm. Anyway, Real I think quick. you're I think you're clipping at source before you even get into Streamyard. So oh, he says okay, he can't he can't come on because the twins are playing up big time. What at one forty four in the morning? Bloody hell! Oh dear! Oh well then. Um. So you know, sounded better anyway. It's not like horrible noise now, like it was. Right. Anyway, let's um. Let's see if anybody else has got anything to say. So yeah, they're saying it sounded like. Oh, here he comes, Mr. Keith Pointer, who also won't put his headphones on and wants to have me coming out through his speakers, but yeah. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Greetings, everyone. Good evening. Greetings. Um, that bit that you was on about 
with the um, block on top of the hill. Yeah. Right. Somebody told me that was a water and vaporing system area. Right. Right, where it comes from the tunnels from underneath. So there must be some big tunnels underneath here then. Right. Okay. So I was also being told that they're hoping to turn that area into a rocket area for space rockets. Oh, right. Okay. Center. Right. So whether that is the truth or not, I don't know. But there is um, speculations going around um, some of the youth. UXB uh, people I know of, unexploded bombs, as you know, uh, told me that they're going to do some filming there. Right. And um, it's similar to the 007 type filming. So I don't know if that's true or not. What? Is that in, any help? In the, um, the bomb place in, that we've just been looking at? Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Well, that'll put it on the map, well, won't it? Yeah. If they do that. Um, plus, it'll be easy to get in because you know that gate you showed where it's a, uh, across the, the roadway? Mm hmm. If you turn to the right of it, it's a bit further down, 200 yards, there's a big hole there. Right, okay. Now, I'm playing around with the audio here, so hopefully. Say something. Check, check. check. Yeah, One, okay, two, three, but four. for some reason, I'm still hearing noise when the speakers should now all be quiet. Oh, i tell you what it is. I know what it is. Um, I I have to put my speakers onto this as well, and we'll all be have quiet. So it'll all ah. be nice and quiet. So let me just... Uh, put okay, the I found my microphone. Okay. Uh, I think it's this. Right, now, why am I not hearing anything? <laughs> Shit, what have I done? Uh, um, hang on, can't guys. Be uh, off right, the speakers. Right. Yeah, I shouldn't really bugger about with this, but I wanted to go out through NVIDIA to clean your audio because you've got all this, like, crap on your audio. Um, trouble is, I can't leave it set. Is that better? Let me, uh, give me a I second, folks. Why, why am I not able to do anything? Can you hear me now? Speakers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then my audio. Let me think about this now. I've done this before. I, I do know how to do it, but um, speakers are... Hopefully yeah, it's, it's sounding really better. Do it, is it? Because I just adjusted on my computer right. and, uh, directly and through Streamlab. Camp, it sounds all right to me, mm. mate. It sounds clear. It might yeah. be on uh, Matt's side, I don't know. I I'll check on my side, it seems to be okay. No, no, no. The, the noise is actually coming from you, Keith. I know that for certain. It's like you've got this sort of squeaking sound, like a, like a bloody fan with a squeak. If I turn right. you off like that, so it goes away completely. Mm. And I'm trying to clean that off by using my cleaning software, but it ain't going to work tonight, folks. I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm really sorry. Right. Okay. Uh, is my audio sounding better, Matt? Because I've adjusted my uh, settings a little bit on my... Uh... It, it it probably sounds like a clipping a bit, but hey, what the hell? Let's just, let's just go with it. Let's just go with it. Not much well... we can do. As I was saying, to the right, uh, by where you've seen that blockage, where, you know, there's like a, a gate or fence across it. If you go 200 yards down to the right, there's a, a whacking rate hole in the fence. Unless they've done it up since then. Mm. Do you actually know uh, this place? Do, do you know it, or are you just guessing? I don't. No, I don't guess. I went down there a couple of weeks ago. Hmm. With a oh. couple of friends of mine. And it was right. a bitter, freezing cold, bitter day we went down there. And and how how did you come to go there? Because you know people who are in the military or something or Yeah. Right. And it was all some of them were, was uh, one or two of my mates was military. And um, 
they used to be based there years ago. And uh, it was part of the... Oh, dude, what are you doing? Dude, you just, you just like created an explosion there then. Oh. I can tell you, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, because you, you did something and it just went like boom. So, I moved, do... all I did was, oh, uh, that might be my chair you're hearing. No, 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 it's like an electrical fault in the microphone thing and it just went, <laughs> and it was really oh. loud. So, yeah, um, yeah, that's it. It's like nasty, nasty noise. You just did it again, and it was like, yeah. Oh, it was the uh, this moving. Yeah, there we are. So try not to try not to do too much to it if you can help it. Mm. Now, what I was saying was that two of my mates was from the navy yard area, and they used to store loads of stuff there, like rockets and propelled stuff there. And when you said they looked like there was two areas where there was um, an inlet and outlet um, underground tunnel. Mm. It goes a bit further than that. It goes into about 10 miles in. But they've blocked up one end. They've 10 miles? 10 miles would go all the way across Plymouth. Well, he said 10 miles. I reckon it's about 500 yards myself. But I, uh, I can hardly tell from what he says to me, but we went that so, way. So he, uh, he said ten miles, but he's probably he's probably wrong because it can't it can't be yeah. ten miles. That would be like crazy. I mean, Rudlow Man has got twenty five miles of underground tunnels, but zigzagging, you know, yeah, through it. But ten miles in one direction is a massive distance. Oh yeah, but I mean, you're talking um, zigzagging all over the place. So there's ten miles. Mm, 10 miles of total tunnels then yeah okay but where we went we went through that whole area and we walked about uh, a mile and a half in what and into the tunnels no not into the tunnels on on top of the land right just before there there's some bunkers and you can't see it from the road and you can't see it from there either it's like an underground bunker area, right? Mm. And it was it was built there for the Second World War, right? Okay, for what they call an additional bombardment area. That was placed there, and then forward to that was the magazine area, right? And then forward to that was the. Uh, part where they loaded up bombs and and also torpedoes and everything else that was forward so it's getting forward and forward and forward until it comes to where all the buildings are where the buildings are there's uh i was told there's maintenance areas and also uh, repair areas and that's where they was hoping to do the rocket areas there Get propelled and also um, incendiaries. Mm. So um, one half is going to be done for that, and the MOD. That's why they kept it uh, for for a particular time. Um, and don't forget, most areas of any um, areas where it's owned by the MOD, they keep it for another thirty years after they've used it. Even so, it might be blocked off for people like the urban groups like yourself, right? And they keep it up to nearly 30 years after they've used it. So they might, might want to use it again for something else. Mm. But there is proper holes along that fence. But you've got to go in, zigzag round, and come back and then through. That's how we did it. And we got about three quarters of the way through. Right, so when you say, you know, were you there officially then? Were you allowed to be in there? We weren't allowed in there at all. We oh, were right. um, required to go in there. We unofficially went in there. Oh, bloody hell. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So uh, uh, that, t- that took some uh, guts then, fair play. Yeah, it, I mean, don't forget, I've got a walking stick, but I don't usually have my walking stick with me. I have one of those, um, we call the suppressors around the kneecap, so that I can walk better. Mm. Right, and it gets me through places where, um, basically, it's two double fencing. One's on top of the other one, virtually, and what you do is you squeeze through it like a zigzag. And you get through that way. And we found out there's four gaps in the in the um that somebody's made. Somebody's cut through the fencing. Mm. Right. And uh, every time they get cut, they check them out every three months and we uh, and patch them up again. Bloody um, hell. Three months, you'd imagine they do it all the time. Yeah, that's what I was saying. You know, we went down to the other side, which is the left-hand side of that day. Went along there, and we couldn't find a hole at all. Mm. Some of them was all patched up. So we dug them back and ended up on the right-hand side, walked a bit further down, 200 yards, and we found a hole just barely through to get us in there and our rucksack. Or baby wax, as they usually call them, you know, the small packs. Mm. We had our grub in there, we had our cameras in there, we had, we had um, water, we had that first aid kit with us, right, and we went in there. And I'm going back as far as um, August when I went, went there. I, d- I haven't been there recently, but I have been there in, in August. And there was five of us that went there. Right, and they're all most of my mates, um, they're all ex army or ex navy. Uh, Scrinson, Scrinson says, I don't know if this means anything to you. He says, Overlord, it's okay, site is no longer operational. Does that mean anything uh, to you? Overlord. Is that what it's called then? That base has got something to do with Operation Overlord. Yeah, it's um, they've they've put the base in so many names and under so many things just to uh, um, put people off basically. But as I said, most of the bases round there and further afield, right, are run by the MOD all even up to thirty years after they've used it. Hmm. Uh, mm. yeah, I'm, not, I, I'm gonna I'm, do, I'm gonna do something because i want to refresh this browser to see whether or not it starts playing ball with being quiet audio but um give me a okay. sec okay No, oh, it's still doing it, even though I I told it to go to. Uh, oh, even though I told it to go to um, the the device, it didn't want to do it. So, hey ho. Well, do, no, do you want me to come off? Well, it, you you should you should you, know, come off. You, you no, it's not that. It's it's just you should check your audio sometimes because um, if you listen to it, it sounds like there's a there's a fan with a squeaky wheel on it. You know. Hmm. It's well, just I've a bit. Morning, it seems to be okay. Mm. I checked all morning before I even came on. Uh, it's a bummer, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll come off anyway, right? But uh, as I said to you, if you have a look on where the road is, right, where the fencing is. It's a double gate fence, right? And to the right, a bit further down, there's a hole there. Well, there was one there from ruined. Hang on. 
I've just bug I've just buggered it up. Sorry. Me pet me te playing with things again. Fingertips where you always fiddle a bit. <laughs> yeah, I can't I can't resist I can't resist bloody playing with things. Um so why is why is uh, Well I was trying to make sure It's there was weird. someone that asked a question that I missed a moment ago, Matt. Let me mm. scroll and see if I can find it for you here. Uh, someone asked, where is it? Where is it? Uh... Oh, yeah. It was someone earlier asked if you had taken your drone up around there. Yeah. I, said that. I, think, I think I did once, but I can't find the bloody footage. So, um, I'm going to turn you down because you're a bit <laughs> loud, apparently. Yeah. If I remember rightly, uh, Matthew, you went there before, right, and you'd done some of the tunnels a bit further along that road, if you remember. Right, and you climbed in some of them, and uh, it, it takes you a bit further back, then it opens out to a big um, vast area where it looked like it's where the ammo, ammo and uh, bombs were stored, right? And if you came back a bit, you had to um, leave the one at the top end because there's one opposite you, yeah, which you checked out again. And it was getting a bit dark, so you said to everybody, I've got to go, and that was it. And you mm. went up to go home. But you didn't make that other transition, which is up the top end, yeah. which carried on. And if you if you think about it, that's where that bloke in the uh, jeep or whatever jeep vehicle went up the top end, didn't it? And he didn't come back. Uh, but coming from the top end, there's a bloody double gate I was telling you about where the road is but if you were the same going left because most of the area we went down there on the left to find out any gaps in the thing it weren't so we went down to the right and it was about 250 300 yards down I don't know how many meters but I'm going um, you know and it was about there where we found that big hole in the fence. But it wasn't, it was big enough for a person to squeeze in, but you had to carry all your stuff individually to pass along to the next person to push it into the next. Because it was a double sort of skinned, but it's about, I don't know, about, um, about a foot, 18 inches apart. There we go. I've just done it. I've just done the magic trick. Stop the stop your noise. Yeah. Now you now you're nice and clean. Yeah. Well, yeah. There we go. It's pretty clean to me, except with a little bit of background noise. But other than that, it's been pretty consistent. Yeah. Well, you're I sounding to try not to move much. You're you're sounding very clipped. Josh, so what you need to do is you need to turn your microphone down in the operating system and then you can play with the volume setting inside the browser. But it's definitely very clipped. Better? Because I'm, I'm almost all the way down on my setting. Yeah, but are you playing with it in the browser again? Are you playing with it in StreamYard? Uh, no, I'm playing with it directly off my uh, audio settings. Turn it down even. Uh, turn it down even more. I turn. It's about maybe that much left on that I can do. God, it just it doesn't sound very good. Uh, uh, one sec. Let me check something on the browser. I don't know what is why it's acting up tonight. Hang on, yeah. I'm just sort me of, me uh, out. No, I don't know. It just sounds very, very raspy. You know, it's like uh, rough as hell, rough as guts. You know. It's not outside. 
yours sounds muffly. You know. Yeah. Is that better? It's just like you're talking like that all the time, and it's just sort of very muffly. You know, you don't, you don't. There's, there's no clarity, no clarity to it. You know, you can hear what you're saying, but it's just like you're in a muffle box. You know. And his one is just too uh, like just raspy, too, uh, but like there we are. Raspy, but... Now somebody's taken their headphones out, so I'm hearing myself now. I think I've still got my last okay. My own suggestion is he's got he's got the Steam Yard going and YouTube at the same time. Now I just lost audio. What the heck? Mm. No, you've got audio that sounds all right. Well, you're you you're, you're there, but um, yeah. Hopefully, let's see if uh, we turn you up a bit. Say something, or don't. Okay, I took off my. Uh, or don't. You were what? It was like I lost all audio there for a second. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, Keith, Keith's noise keeps coming back sometimes. It depends whether the AI... I I'll, I'll, I'll come out because I think I know what it is. I'll come are out you, and are you, Just out of interest, are you using the microphone built into your laptop? I'm using... Uh, yes. Uh, Keith, I'm asking now. I know you've got your headset thingy on. It's built into the camera. It's built into the camera. Yeah, you want to try and get yourself a separate separate mic? Keith and um, possibly possibly even one that you know is built into the headphones because you'll find you have a lot better job um, I've got a microphone that's built into my Logitech and it it, it sounds absolutely atrocious it's rubbish the yeah Logitech? yeah they're not very good oh you... no gosh I'll, I'll, I'll swing it in the bin and get myself a new one I'll, I'll ask Father Christmas to get me one <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm just trying to think now because um, like a Logitech C920, they are only about, was it 49 or 50 quid, something like that? Or was it yeah. 70 quid? I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, all you need is a better mic, really, you know. Ah, uh, I've seen the better mic once. It uh, sort of draws down and drops down just there. Yeah, that's that's one. Or you can get yourself a mic that sits on the table and plugs in USB, or something like that. But you definitely need something a little bit better because you're getting this horrible. Um, yeah. Yeah. But they're asking me, are we doing an all nighter? No, we're not. And in fact, I'm going to try and keep it fairly sensible. So I'll say within the next half an hour, we're going to finish it because um, uh, well, I don't want I don't want to I don't want to drag it out, you know all the way and um just end up messing around at the end which is what normally happens so i'll tell you yeah. what matt i'm going to say good night to all of you right okay have a nice person nice new year right and i'll see you in the new year yeah the meantime, you, I'm going to pop off and, you're very uh, understandable keith you're very understandable but it's just this kind of muffly sound you know it's it's you're very understandable but what you did have is is you have this little you know, like, well, you can't hear it because my noise cancel is probably taking off my weird sounds. But it's like this little, uh, little, little okay, bear, so like a bearing sound. You know, like squeal, 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 squeal. You know, doing that sort of thing. Yeah. I'll, I'll get sorted out after the new year, mate. In the meantime, mm. I've, um, I've got to go somewhere tomorrow. Um, I've got to find um, the uh, there's a bunkhouse not far from here and uh it used to be for the uh pom-pom guns and the 175 guns mm -hmm. also just below that there's some k well not k it's a, a tunnel we're going to try and find it yeah i'm just just curious as well and i guess i know the answer to this one did you take any photos when you went to this base the other day yeah there we go. Now, I was expecting to say no, which would have immediately made me go, hmm, yeah. He took photos, but, but in them. Hmm. So you've got I to get them developed. I've got to get them developed. Right. I'd be very interested to see those. You know, if you want to come back on 
at some yeah. point and, and, and show us your photos because that would be interesting. And somebody a minute ago said, uh, don't fly over the base, national security folks. Well, the thing is, it would be irresponsible to fly over there because it would probably cause a security alert if somebody knew you were there. But your your drone probably wouldn't allow you to fly over it anyway because it'll be... Oh, yeah. um, they did have some drones a bit further up, right? That somebody was doing a drone takeoff over, but they can only do so much. They can only um, film from a certain distance, but not close up. Yes, because there'll be a, a circle around it which you're not allowed to fly into, and your drone won't fly yeah. in there unless you've got a hack drone. But here's the yeah. thing. I don't have to fly over these places because I can fly miles, you know, a mile away and use my zoom and zoom in, <laughs> and it's like you're there. Because the thing is, uh, they don't, they don't like you look. Right they don't like that one. Uh, didn't you do that on that one bunker? Uh, it was like where you were, like in a patch or something, like a mile or two away, or like some, and you flew through some buildings. That yeah, was like, well, uh, I think, last year that you did it. Uh -huh. There's, um, it, it's a very useful tool because um, whereas I would not be able to fly close to those nuclear subs, if I fly outside that circle, so I'm not breaking any rules, and zoom in to see those subs, then I'm not breaking any rules. So, yeah. you know, that's the beauty of the you Mavic probably fly in, uh you probably could film that base if you did, uh, if you did it on the other side of the river uh, yes. from your launch point. Yeah, with your Mavic. I was thinking that. In fact, I mean, I might be able to bring up the the maps if I if I go for a second and have a quick look. Uh, so let's have a look. I think it's um, uh, drone map maps UK. Which one? No fly drones, or we can have drone safety map or drone scene. Let's have a look. Drone maps, right? So it's not a very good map, this one, to be honest. But um, let's have a look what we got. Uh, let's have a look if there's a better one. Uh, Altitude Angel. I think this one's better because it actually has the proper, the proper maps. Uh, let me just see. Yeah, this is proper maps. Here we go. And if I, I'll share the stream, so people can see. By the way, in the in the comments, tell me. Um, tell me if it's sounding nice and clean now we're not getting any of the the, the room noise okay it's not going to make the it's not going to make keith's mic sound brilliant and it's not going to make uh, josh's mic sound brilliant but what it gets rid of is gets rid of the hiss and the room noise okay so tell me if that's actually uh taking place because i i'm getting it perfectly clean through here now so i'm hoping that the uh you're all getting it nice and clean as well so I'll try and leave it set up to do this in the future, if that's the case. Um, right, where am I? What am I doing? What am I doing? Sharing the screen. Share screen. Share this screen. Go. Right, then we come back to drone. There we are. Um, <laughs> it says, can I access your location? Well, there's, there's, there's no bloody GPS in this computer, so that's a stupid question to ask. Um, there we are, Plymouth. Now, there's definitely going to be massive area, I was going to say, right over the nuclear subs which would be if i can i go um to can i switch it to satellite map let me have a look Ooh, no no uh, now you'd have to be a pretty good distance away uh away to be out of the to be able to get a good view in there that's yes but yes. it looks like to the east you could have a the best view coming in yeah if you did your flight path on the east I'll to the it. northeast <laughs> Well, yes. Well, it it, uh, it goes up quite a way there. Um, I'm just trying to see. Is there any way I can switch? That's road. Oh, there we are. Look, hang on. Aerial. Okay, there we go. So, so the the nuclear subs that I'd like to photograph are there, and in order to be able to do it, I'd have to come beyond this facility here, which is actually. Um, uh, diesel and gas facility which is for the military secret pipeline that's the military secret pipeline facility that um, pipes stuff around all the military bases to the UK that's where they're based 
and they're slightly yeah. in, they're slightly inside this uh, thing as well, but not as much as the the military base there. So you'd have to go to this place here. Now I'll tell you how the distance of that. Now hang on, let me bring this up. If I zoom back out, if I go full screen, right now zoom back, and I'll tell you the distance. If I go full north, so we orientate it the same. Right, I want to get rid of that bloody. Um, there we are. Right, so if I uh, oh, hang on. Oh, it's I'm wondering here. if you uh, you went to the on the other side of that roadway because it seemed like there was a brief area where you could launch and then fly around to be able to stay outside of the zone. Yeah, there it is. There it is. There it is. So so this by here, where I'm going to drop my pointer, is about the end of where the the um, the miller. Well, you can't take off point comes so it's about there so the the distance from there to the nuclear subs is 1.1 mile and i think i could probably zoom in quite well you know from back here to there with the mavic zoom but we'll see i'll try it out i'll give it a go be careful then because uh they've got uh one of those ones that takes down um, drones. What a drone device that takes down yeah. drones. Well, I got something there to take it down, didn't I? Um, no, they 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 didn't have one at Gatwick. They they're planning on bringing them in, but they haven't tested them. So oh, the right. only place in the UK that had that system was south end airport and is it they, like an EMP? no it's just a, it's just a it, it receives um wi-fi signals which is what the uh the mavic transmits on and what most drones transmits on transmit on and it receives all the various brand names of drones and receives the signals hacks them and then sends out uh sends out a code to land and if that doesn't work, they just jam. They just jam the drone. So it, it no longer can be controlled. So, you know, one way or another, it's either going to fly home at that point. If it can't be controlled and can't talk to home, it will go up in the air and it'll fly home. You know, because... Well, when, when... I'm loose now, guys, because I'm going to bed. I'm You're off, yeah? Yeah, I'm off now. I've, I've had oh. a, you know, a bad day today. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm not disturbed off the bed. Right. So I'll just say hi to everybody and see you after Christmas. Oh, my camera's still off. Sorry about that. Right. Um, yes, okay. Well, we'll see you soon. Thanks for letting us know about your little trip. I hope you don't get a knock right. on the I hope you don't get a knock on the door now. Now you've revealed you, you, what you've been up to. Because <laughs> they, oh, they, they're fuckers for watching my channel. You know that, don't you? Yeah, I know. They are fuckers um, for it. They are buggers for it, yeah. yeah. No. Um, but uh, we went in August, so uh, if they come knocking at my door, I'll just say I'll deny it. I don't know who you're on about. It could have been my brother, it could have been me. Even, brother. Though, even though you're on my channel, they'll go, well, you said this, didn't you? The thing is, what they'll do is they'll say, well, whether it was you or whether it wasn't you, don't come back. That's what they'll say. Because if you come back, then it's aggravated trespass, and they can they can arrest you. So they're not worried whether you've done it once, because they know you didn't get up to any trouble. What they're worried about is saying to you, "You are not allowed to come back." And once they've said that, then if you come back, you cause yourself a whole world of hurt because they can then arrest you for aggravated trespass. Well, you see, yeah. when we was out in the woods a bit further down and going over towards further over. There's people already in the area, right? We were watching. Oh. Were they military, though? No. Are you sure? Well, we didn't, we didn't go up to the, you know, or, or you meant to. We didn't go up to them. But uh, they didn't have no vehicles there, and basically they're in about call them all in front of us right so uh, you can smell the wood smoke 
Mm. Uh, yeah. Well, that's interesting. That was, in, that was in August. So there were a couple of people probably um, doing the same thing, but there was people working. Well, that would give away them being there if they've got smoke going off a fire. Yeah, that's what I thought. Mm. We didn't hang about. We, we, we went across the other side. Yeah. We oh. moved well away from it. Well, thanks for letting us in on your uh, your little sort of explore down there. I look forward to seeing the photos. Yeah, well, I can develop. Mm. Okay. It'll be next year, so. All right. Okay, brilliant. Thank you very much. Good night. Thanks Enjoy a lot. Enjoy yourself. Cheers Bye now. Bye-bye. Right, I just wondered whether Mr. Scrinson wanted to come in because uh, I've just put the link in the in the thing because uh, he seems to know a little bit about this this base and I thought, well, you know, if he if he knows about it, it would be good to get him on because that would uh, enlighten us quite quickly. Whereas tapping away on a keyboard kind of you know gets lost sometimes, doesn't it? So yeah, but there we are. And when it also just there's only so much you can do online via maps too. Mm. Yeah, you're not sounding too bad at the moment. Your your microphone it says they both sound shite. Somebody's just said. <laughs> All right, great. Um, yeah, I think that. Well, if it is what it is, isn't it? I mean, at least there's no uh, noise of cars and bits and pieces, and it gets that done. So, um, right. So well, I also ahead. turned the fan out of my room too. You turned the fan off. Good. Yes, that's a good idea. Yeah. Oh, it's well, like that make, makes me think that I'm going to go and, uh, have to rewatch my stream I did the other night to see, make sure it sounded clean. Well, it uh, it's just um, it, it's sort of what I would describe as uh, too bright, too bright. Not enough um, bass to back it up. It's just it's just all very high end, you know, and. Uh, uh, a little bit over bright, you know, and it becomes a little bit grating then on the ears. Um, much in the way that that Keith is the opposite end is too much bass and not enough top end. But it's a you know you got to get that, I don't have on get the balance right. I might yeah. have to uh, install a uh, a little uh, an app on there to where I can adjust that. Mm. Yeah, that would be a good idea. There is software like that that you can get that actually tweaks the audio and actually does compression as well. So it'll bring the quietness up and the loudness down. So anyway, I'm not going to bore people with this because they're probably like going, oh, stop talking tech shit, Matt. Yeah, I can understand. They probably don't <laughs> want to hear this shit. But at least now I've got the noise cleaning turned back on because I had a complete re -operate, operating system, complete reinstall. So all this stuff had to be put back in to get it to to do what it needed to do so well i'm also learning from i'm also learning hints from uh from you jordan and other people on things that i can do when i'm ever i'm streaming so that i can have my volumes and stuff level yeah well the important thing is that um i watch my vu meters because i've got two of them i'll show you so you can understand what i'm talking about just so people understand because right see over see over here when I'm speaking, when you speak, I've got to keep it just from going too much into the red. So it's as loud as it possibly can be, but not too much into the red. So I'm just peaking at about that level. So when you speak, oh. go on. Okay, I see what you're talking about. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. The depression there. Yeah, so I've got, to, I've got to just keep you there. Now, if you keep adjusting your, your end, I will have to make you louder or quieter this end to kind of fight it. So... Um, all you've got to bear in mind is, yeah, you you know, your input to your computer has to be l a bit lower, and then we can turn you up at my end. So, yeah, that's fine. Just don't want you clipping. I, did. I heard it down as low as I could. Yeah, we don't want you clipping, because clipping sounds really bad. It's like, uh, it's like a sandpapery sound, you know? So, there we are. Anyway, folks, right, well, we're coming up to half past two, so I think we've uh, done... A fair bit here now. I dare say, I mean, to be perfectly honest, I know some of you said you really enjoyed that explore, which I was kind of surprised at because um, all it was was 
me taking uh, Simon and Tom for a ride on the boat. You know, that's all it was. Uh, but because we were on the boat, I thought, well, hey, let's let's go all the way up and I'll show them this cave and we'll go up the well, as far as we can go because I bet they've never seen the bridge from underneath. And it's like, oh, yeah, there's that military base up there. And it was literally just we hadn't really planned to do it. Uh, everything was completely unplanned. It wasn't like we were literally going to go and see, you know, warships and things like that. It was just like a, it was a nice jaunt. That was it. And I filmed it. And then I was like, I didn't even think it would really make a video. But then I was like looking at it. it was, I was thinking, you know, you know, I don't like to waste footage. You know, I don't like to shoot things and then waste it if I can help it. And I was thinking, well, you know, with a bit of context of what we're actually looking at. Yeah, it's it's kind of acceptable. So now people have said they've in, they've enjoyed it. I was thinking maybe we could do some more. Uh, next time we won't go up the military section maybe we'll go down the commercial section and we'll just film and go around and we'll just film the whole sort of area because you've seen Drake's Island you've seen Bovisand Fort now you've seen the military navy shipyard now you could see the commercial side shipyard and take you on a whole journey around you know Plymouth Docks in, in its entirety so you'll have the whole thing so uh, there we are <laughs> happy sunshiny days says uh can i do another spoof with lots of wows yeah i could possibly try that somewhere down the line yeah so uh there we are um train tracks look like your other videos of tunnels with all them tiles uh, not sure what you're on about tiles but we will be having hopefully uh, a video of a place called dean hill um, it's all in the bag. I shot it over a year ago, uh, but I was hoping to go back on another occasion with some people and, and show them it. Um, we can't get in the bunkers, but the guy who owns the place was a bit of a dick, and he wasn't having any any of us like, no, you're not coming on my base. He was a bit like that, and I said, well, you've let people, like, let the local villagers go in the tunnels, so what's the problem with us coming there? And he was like, no, no, no. And I said, well, I'm going to come and have a look at him. And he was like, no, you're not. And I'm like, yes, I am. And I did. And I've got it on film. <laughs> and we royally take the piss. Um, so that's coming soon. So Dean Hill, that's a good one. And that's another base. Again, this is what I was trying to say earlier on. There's a lot of bases out there that have handled nuclear materials. And the MOD don't like to talk about it. Now, Greenham Common used to send stuff up to Dean Hill and... Uh, Portsmouth, they had nuclear materials were coming up from Portsmouth to Dean Hill, and people used to go, oh, it's it's just an explosive site, oh yeah, and the rest, yeah, it was it was handling a lot of things. Um, there were there's a lot of sites like that around the UK and the Americans, you know, of course it was all it's all at Greenham Common, honestly, and yet. Most of the east coast of England had nuclear weapons on, on air bases, American air bases, but they don't like to talk about that. Um, so, yeah, um, I don't believe any of them when they say, you know, oh, it's just normal explosives. I I always, uh, you know, try to read between the lines. And uh, if it's a military base and if it can handle ordnance, there's a good chance that it's had nuclear stuff pass through it. So, yeah. <laughs> Because they like to keep things moving around. They, not, they don't like to put all their eggs in one basket. And they don't like to put all their certain weapons in one place. So the enemy could know where it is. And if they take that particular facility out. Then that's it. Now we have no way to fight back in, a, in, in, that, in that sense. So of course the military are going to keep moving this stuff around and around and around. And it, they're going to randomise it. Of course that would be a sensible thing to do. I would say. So people that believe that these little bases that are like sleepy hollows and oh yes there's nothing much going on up there it's all like oh yes nothing much to see here um, those are the places that secretly from time to time have these little convoys turn up and you know put the old uh, nuclear stuff into the bunkers or even store it outdoors but you know with guards around it but they they do have nuclear weapons moving all around the United Kingdom. So, yeah. Anyway, there we are. Actually, on an Xmas show. 
Oh, I'm still I'm still sharing this bloody. I'm still. Oh, sorry. Hang on, got the mouse is in the wrong screen now. Hang on, I'm sharing this screen still. Sorry, say again. Uh, someone asked uh, if you were doing uh, what your plans for a uh, Christmas show. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing to be honest. Um, I haven't got much planned for Christmas. So, somebody invited me to come over to their parents and uh, spend spend a couple of hours. You know, so I might pop over there. But yeah, we'll see what happens. I'll be bored. What I used to do when no, I had for my... me, it's like. I said when I when it's I saw like my I know for me I'm trying to... <laughs> sorry man go ahead okay what I was gonna say is when I used to have my aircraft on Christmas Day I liked nothing better than to go flying when there was no other bastard around because it was just like completely quiet the air was quiet you know like there was nobody on the radio it was like all quiet on the radio all quiet in the air because everybody else was like out doing their sort of Christmassy things and I thought that's that's the best time get out there when there's no other bastard out there so I used to enjoy that but now uh yeah we don't quite have that but um similar sort of thing with a car I like I like going out I loved going out during the Covid lockdown it was just like the best it was the best because they were, the roads were absolutely empty it was like ghost town it was like a zombie apocalypse had happened and I loved it it was just like Oh, the roads are just magic. There's nobody on the roads. It's amazing. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I don't know what I'll be up to on Christmas Day. Somebody recommended we try and get into a bunker somewhere and piss somebody off because there'll be nobody looking after the bunkers, as per usual. You know, they're meant to be, but it'll be reduced staff. And, you know, everywhere's going to be, everybody wants to be home. And everybody assumes that everything's going to be quiet over Christmas, and that's a good time to get in places. So who knows? We might try and have a, a little go. So, there we are. And for me, I've been trying to decide whether I want to do a Christmas or a New Year's stream. Mm. And just allow people to come on and talk. Now, I, I'm quite happy to like go on... Somebody else is streaming a bit, but I'm, I want to end this one before it gets gargantuan because I don't like them being too long because I don't think people can really watch them all. So, um, yeah. I guess okay. one tonight. I've already decided that. Because mm. it was like between yours, uh, mine, and Jordan's, it was around 6 a.m. my time when I finally got off. Mm. Yeah. So there we are. So... Right, now is about the time then. I'm gonna I'm gonna call it. I do need to go and to the loo, let the dog out, sort a few things out. But if anybody's got a live stream, send me a message if you've got the got got my number if you know know me. Otherwise if otherwise I'm gonna watch some watch some movies and uh, get some sleep. Carry on with some editing tomorrow. I'm trying to go through all my old footage. You probably noticed I'm doing a real sort of like cull the old footage and I've probably going to have some specials um i haven't edited them yet but i've got some stuff that'll be really good to release over christmas as a christmas special you know like really crazy crazy shit so that you're you, yeah i've been keeping it back for reasons but urban legends coming on oh my god but he hasn't got a picture so do i trust that it's really him is it really him? Yes, it's, it's him. like me. The easiest way you oh. need to message me is via my face. One minute, mate. Sorry about the sound. That's all right. Um, I, I need to go to the loo, though. Can you give it's me a right, sec? Because yeah. I'm, I'm absolutely bursting. Yeah, hang on. I'll be back now. You talk to Camp Just Josh Busker. Uh, Camp Busker Josh. It's just Josh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. See you in a sec. Yeah, I think. Didn't you hop on to my stream briefly the other night? Pardon, what you say there? You got an echo. Oh, there's an no, echo. Well, that's me. One second. That's right. Go on. You're all right, mate. Sorry about that. It's all good. What I was uh, saying, uh, didn't you come onto my stream the other night? Briefly in the comments? Or... I might have. I'm not too sure, to tell you the truth. Because it's like, I know for me, it's like on to reach, it's like, I don't get what I said before. It's like to message me, the easiest way to get a hold of me is looking up Joshua Spence 
on Facebook and and then and then there's this logo. Okay, one sec. Let me. Okay, I gotta figure out my where's the mouse. I hate where the mouse disappeared. Okay, there it is. And then it's like and then I have this logo. You've all gone off on screen. My, on my, <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> What were all still here? Are you all going off screen for for like for effect? No, he's just showing us something. Oh, is he? What show we do? Yeah, I was just showing my, uh, my face. Showing you his penis. Yeah, that's my thing. That I... showing you his thing. No, I knew, uh... I knew it. You missed it. Matt. You missed it all. <laughs> but he's he's gone. How how can he how, how, how can he be show that. how can he be showing you something because his camera's not on. Is. How's he showing you? I think it was. I'm not sure. Like, that would be something I think a, a couple other streamers I think would do. Right. Was it in the private? Are you talking about the private chat? No. 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 I was just saying to people that it's like if, uh, to get uh, be able to talk to me. The easiest way is looking up Joshua Williams Spence on Facebook, mm. and then looking for that image, so that they can talk to me on Messenger because I don't talk on Instagram or anything else. Yeah, I I, I, kind of, I hate Instagram. Do you know that one of the biggest things I hate about Instagram, apart from the fact it's got stupidly square photos like what the, who, who, who thought that was a good idea right but the worst thing is i want to look at somebody's photo so i zoom it and then i go to zoom it again and it just drops back so you can't zoom it's like the moment you let go it zoop, it goes back it's like elastic it's like you can't zoom you can't zoom into anything whose idea was that you, what, what like no oh. zoom Oh, give him a Nobel like Prize. It. No Zoom. You're not allowed to Zoom. Zoom not allowed. Give him a Nobel Prize. That's why it's like, if, it's, that's why I tell people, it's like if they want to invite me onto a streams or anything, the easiest way to talk to see if I'm, uh, if I'm able to go on is just send me a message via Messenger. Hey, yeah. Matt, I was watching your uh, live stream, like you know, uh, and on that, map you're showing us where the bolts go in. It looks like there's a tunnel in a, at the end of them at the docking bays. Where the boats go in? Yeah, the big ships. What? Uh, oh, 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 hang on. You mean the Babcock building? I know what you mean. It's it's an artifact because it didn't take the photos correctly. Hang on, I'll I'll show people what I think you mean. You can tell me if it's what you mean. I know what you mean. Uh, hang on. Right, if you come down to the Babcock buildings here, and you spin them down, it looks like that's a. It looks like a bloody tunnel, doesn't it? No, go to your right. Oh, is it? I think I know it. Uh, keep yeah, keep going. Where, where, where the ships keep... are in uh, in port somewhere. What these? No, the bigger, bigger ones. Mm. No, it goes out a lot farther. What? It was oh, where yeah. the, you were talking about that. Yeah, that was, uh, the, to your right, what, these, these. Oh, to your right, yeah. Then once to your left, and that yeah. one there, right in the middle there, going up. Now that looks like a major river going up somewhere. Uh, hmm. No, it's just a dead end. It's just. Um... It's just where See, it looks like a tunnel at the end of it. Yeah, it's chiselled out. Um, and same with the other ones, the other docks. They've got like a tunnel at the end of oh, it. Oh, hang a on. Black piece at the end of it. Oh, fuck off. Motherfucker. What, I'm in the fucking Area 51 now, look, or something. What the fuck? <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> I, look, you've just seen, you've just seen. It. Literally, like, I'm in the fucking desert. Thank you. How does that happen? How does that mean does I that... found a portal? Fucks. Might yes. Have been yes, I think you have. Matt. You have. And we've just teleported through the bastard. Right, let's get back <laughs> there. I know exactly where we are, right? They can't... Nobody can screw with me like that because I know exactly where I am. Look, see? This is how much I know Plymouth. And I'm not even from Plymouth. 
And this is how much I know Plymouth. Right, you are correct. I've only it learned does, it from you, uh, it does sort of look like there's a gap. Oh, don't talk about that. There. It looks like there's a gap, isn't there? There's a gap. Yeah, and if you go to the next dock on your left, it looks like there's another one. Oh, you clever bastard. I never really noticed that. Mm. Yeah, it looks like there's seven inlets on them. Well, maybe not with that one. Oh, well, no, know. not on that one. Let's have a look on the next one, then. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Wait, that is a tunnel. Something. There's a tunnel there. Oh, yeah, I can see it. Something. It's definitely circular. Oh. And what about the next one to that one? Oh, Christ, let's go and have a look. That may... Oh, it doesn't look too defined. No, it looks like oh, a shadow, that, doesn't it? There's a shadow there, isn't there? I don't know with that one. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, there's nothing on that one. That one, the one that was next on the other side of that one was smooth. All right. Let's have a look on this one. Well, that's got a... Sli that's got a... That's distorted. I think that's... um ramps that's a ramp so they can literally push yep. a boat and get it to drop really quickly you know i think that's ramps yeah they can take them in and out with the ramp on the tide yeah and a so, lift if they have them but well spotted mate well spotted i never that's a ramp as well Look, that's a bit of a ramp but you can you can see it you know it's like yeah it's where they put the champagne, don't they? They hit the champagne against the boat and it's like and slides down the rollers into the sea. Yeah, okay. What about this one then? What's this? Well, that's just, uh, that's nothing, isn't it? Nothing there. Wasn't there like a development right. that was I, trying I'll to be developed there? Did it happen? I'll show you something off, off air, right? Um... I'll show you something off air. I should press F11 and then it goes full screen. I'll show you something off air. I don't want to. I don't want to make a thing of it. But but somebody pointed something out to me on these maps, that is a weird thing. And I don't want to sort of give it away. But but go and have a look, folks. See if you can find it because there's something very strange. Right, let's have a look. There's nothing there, is there? That's is that that's just. Oh, that the dry docks. You think that's the dry docks. Yeah, that's um. That's just concrete. It goes out the other end, doesn't it? Ah, no, does it? No, it doesn't. That is the way. Yeah, the double. Uh, Oof. Yeah, there's like uh, multiple dry docks with the split in half, with a section that can be removed for bigger ships. Yeah, but that that bit there, how do they how do they move that out of the way? Does that slide or something? It dropped down. Uh, it dropped you down. think it drops? Yeah. It wow. falls down. Well, that's interesting. If it if it drops, that way, they can put long, uh, they can put real big ships in there and still have room. That's amazing. Um, wow, they drop. I mean, I would love to know how the mechanism works to you, get that you, to drop. That's crazy. It's like, you look, you can see the bird. Yes, for look at that. That looks like scaffolding, doesn't it? Like steps. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So look, I think they're it looks they're fixing that other section of that dry dock. Hmm. Doing repairs. It I would I would have thought they would the, the easiest way to get this would be fill it up and then slide it left or slide it right, not down. But you think it's down, do you? I don't yeah, know. There is isn't a tidal wave coming in and dragging whatever's in front into it. <laughs> Yeah, but no, they fill it up with water first, so that when when they open it, it it then equalizes. Yeah, um, you can see how it opens on that left side. You can see the marks if you look just do you, right. Do you think that's what they're building here? They're building a secondary one here, and that's what this all this stuff is. Yeah, they're, that's building, what it looks like. they're building a secondary one, so then they can open the first one. So they're they're engineering yeah, they're something building here. Yeah, maybe what they do is they that looks like a replacement. a replacement one. Yeah, that's right. And and maybe what they do once they finish, once they finish them, because that looks like see on the right hand side that looks like it's um, a notch, like a, a notch taken out of it, like as if it doesn't go all the way across or something. Um, but maybe underneath underneath this uh, this bit here, 
there's a big hollow you know maybe there's a big hollow that goes either that side or this side massive hollow underneath hmm. they can pull them through back and forth there are like those type of gates that are like that and they generally have like a float on a uh, on a rail system that's underneath the water mm. and then they're just and there's usually like a hydraulic or some other mechanism that can pull them right interesting i'd like to find out yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, uh, they've got different ones here. Look, these are quite big. Uh, look at these ones on the end here. Looks like they're building a boat in that one. A ship. Uh, they're up to something, aren't they? Yeah, it's like it's interesting the different types of setups they've got. Yeah. They're building it up in layers, aren't they? And they're building scaffold around it to, to take stuff up to it. Yeah. Might be a super secret ship that they, they, the scaffold is to hide it so it can't be photographed. It's amazing what you find on Google Maps, isn't it, or whatever. I mean, look at, all, look at all that now, all the like cables and, and crap and pipes going across to it. Look at all that. It's crazy, isn't it? Mm hmm. Mm. And it's Amazing. interesting how it's uh, being ultra secretive on more than, nor than normal. You can see how going on underneath the look, cover look, as well. That, that's where they're building the super secret one because it's totally covered. Look. Yeah. yeah. This one, I don't know. But this one, they don't want you seeing that, do they? That one's very off limits. Something, something happening in there. Yeah. But it's all it's fascinating. Two going on in there. fascinating. I wonder Look. if a ship and a sub is getting built at the same time. Mm. On that mm. one. What's going on? What's going on in here then? Are they preparing for one? Are these like the stilts? They're preparing. Preparing for the next one with these stilts. Looks like they're laying something out. Yeah. It's a pretty much beam on it though. Mm. A busy, busy place though. Very busy. Ooh, well, somebody will probably tell us. Look, there's there's one there. Look, you know, it's it's a road, but what what happens to it? What happens to that? If anything, because that's the way out, isn't it? That is it. That there's no other way out. That's it. But if you look at it, it it seems like there's no join. It obviously has to be, but maybe Google is just kind of not capable of seeing the resolution to see the join. Hmm. Or, or maybe it goes as far as that. Maybe the join is. Oops. Maybe the join is as far as here. And as far as there on the left hand side. Maybe the join is as far. It goes wider. Than... Yeah. I mean, I'd love to know whether they go down. That would be quite interesting. And how did how did they get them to go down? You know, they got hydraulics. Usually, it's a hydraulic system on a, on a pivot. So the hydraulics would have to be really, really deep then. Yeah, if you look at the like the banning itself, it locks into it uh, the either side of the shore. Yeah. Hmm. What I'm thinking is, oh, like, I... they, they, it would have to the, the 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 machinery would have to be so far down though. Yeah, makes you wonder how they would manage to get in under there. They'd have to, to, to get the equipment fixed for this, they'd have to block it off at the front again. They'd have to, like, build up a massive dam at the front in order to, uh, and possibly drain everything out of the, the, the main dock in here to be able to service this, you know? Yeah. Completely drain the inner dock. And build a wall up, build a wall up across here like this. Build a wall up, maybe build a wall up that side to be able to service this, or just drain the dock then. Because this this is sea this is sea facing on this side, so they can't they can't drain the sea, <laughs> but they can drain the dock. But yeah, it's well, just... there's some interesting structures. They're in that yard, the that dock area too. 
Yeah, what's this? Look, what's that? Is that part? Is that a floatable? Is that a floatable lock? Does that float? Maybe that floats. Look, maybe that. I fits, think that goes that in the gap in there. there. You. That always yeah. now, yeah. Yeah, so they you float... transport more stuff across. Yeah, they float it in, but it it blocks it up. It's like a, a wedge. They float Floating that bridge. wedge in. Huh. It's a floating wedge bridge. Yeah. Well, there's. I was trying to figure out off to the left what that, where those uh, four girders. That's another dry dock over there. Mm. I'm so fascinated to find out how, how that works now. Look, there's a submarine there. Look, there's a sub being worked on. You know, everyone who thinks this all happens up in Scotland, like like F, it does. Yeah. Yeah. And if if these submarines are being worked on down here, they it must mean that they offload their nukes in Scotland, or would they bother? They were going to off. They're going to offload stuff here they're going to offload and onload stuff here of course they are they just tell everybody it's in scotland because that just de that just deflects everybody it's like greenham common was the the same thing they said oh greenham common greenham common and let everybody freak out and scream and shout and hang around the, the fences of greenham common meanwhile every other base had nuclear weapons around the uk but it's just focus on greenham common Keep everyone's attention at Greenham Common, and then they don't ask questions about why they're refitting and loading nukes in Plymouth. You see how it works? It's the same. They do it exactly the same thing right now with bloody COVID. It's like you know, scream, shout, scream, shout about COVID, and in fact, you know, it's a just it's a distraction. It is just how a did distraction. it come out? How did it come out, Greenham Common? About the nuclear waste uh, dumps there. Well, it was it was did the someone, um, did someone spill it like fake news back in the day? Well, they they had um, nukes coming in on aircraft, and one of them crashed and spilled some nuclear stuff across the runway, and that was all kind of hush hush. And they'd be like, "Oh no, no, nothing to see here." And then they decided, "Well, we'll build nuclear um, silos for cruise missile launchers." But bear in mind, whilst everyone's focusing on cruise missiles, cruise missiles, cruise missiles, there's still tactical nuclear weapons, which are like conventional bombs that could just be dropped out of the you know back of an aircraft. You just drop it, like roll it out of the back of an aircraft, literally, or put it on the wing pods of an aircraft and drop that. They're, they're tactical nuclear weapons, not cruise missiles. Those weapons... Um, have been all around the UK and people don't focus on that. They just go, oh, yeah, cruise, because the media has been primed to just focus everyone's attention. Cruise missiles, cruise missiles, cruise missiles. Americans, Americans, Americans. Don't talk about British nuclear weapons. Just go, Americans, Americans, cruise missiles, Americans, Americans, Americans. And, of course, it deflects from the fact that Britain has nuclear weapons. And what is Britain's nuclear the U response? This you nuclear know? program is a lot bigger than the U.S. Really, you know. So yeah, someone's just someone's left a message in the comments there. Look at the Plymouth Harbour website; it tells you about the new dry dock and developments for nuclear subs being nuclear. refurbished. And if yeah. they're being refurbished there, then they probably got their weapons there. <laughs> so, duh, it's like. You and know. even even if it's not weapons, it's like you say, a nuclear engine. The nuclear, the nuclear engines, bits there for the nuclear to run the engine, and else yeah. it won't move. And and Britain literally admitted that they didn't have the money or the knowledge or the yeah, the skills to decommission these submarines. So they're just leaving them there with their nuclear engines, with their rods, with their nuclear rods, and they're just sitting there very highly guarded if you walk like, down there if you walk down there trying to do an urbex it, 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 I, I thought to myself like what would it take to do an urbex there and i thought well a lot of stupidity because you could get shot and that's the bottom line is it's like it's very very tempting because i'm like oh can you imagine being the person who got one of these they put you in jail or they'd shoot you you know, it's tempting. It's a thought that goes through your head. It's like, you know, like, oh, ha, ha, ha. but if anyone ever did it, it would be crazy. But I reckon the 
ultimate outcome of it would be they'd either get shot or they would be eventually jailed. That's it. So they would make world headlines, that's for mm. sure. Mm. Yeah, but you've got to think about it. if they're refurbishing them, they might need somewhere to store the uh, nuclear engines and stuff, and that might be why the bunkers come in while they're restoring them. Yeah, well, I mean, rods can be re rods and nuclear materials can be reprocessed, but it's you know they might have taken those materials out, but I I just don't know. The Americans know how to do it, and the Americans, but it costs so much money. The British just said, "Oh, screw this." We'll just leave them in a dock. It's easier. You know, we don't have to pay anything then. We'll just well, leave them you also have to remember that water is also, it isolates a lot of the isotopes that uh, radiation will emit. Well, there shouldn't be any radiation coming out of these ships anyway because it would have killed the, the crewmen. I mean, it's fairly well shielded, but it's it's just the fact that, you know, you know what Britain's like. They're kind of like sweep it under the carpet. And, and here is the sweeping under the carpet, you know. It's just like dump them and leave them until it becomes a problem. The US you know? tends to do that too, but not, uh, not on a scale that, like the UK, it seems like. Hmm. They're all in one place as well. They're not like, you know, in a few places. It's all like in one area. But I would imagine that uh, this is quite well secured, so don't even think about trying it, folks, because I, I know I'm just joking. It's kind of like this, the, the thought goes through your head. You see all this like, oh, look, it's old nuclear subs and they're not using them anymore. But you go near these things. I mean, it could be the very last thing you do. <laughs> it, could be the, it could be the very last thing you do, you know. Um, so I wouldn't recommend it. Like I say, it's just a jokey thought that goes through your head. Like, I wonder what it would be like if you were able to do that. But I'm not. I'm never going to attempt yeah. that. Even mm. I don't recommend it. Mm. No, there are some places like nuclear air bases and things where they are authorized to shoot you if they don't know who you are. You know, and they, they power it, stations is another one. You know, there's some. There was somebody who took photos inside a British nuclear power station, and he got wet got sent to jail uh so you know uh yeah not worth it google I'm maps about people google maps hacked. is good enough for me <laughs> i'll just look at it on google maps and and i'll go up and down on my boat out, like up and down here like this i will go hang on let me just see if i can change the thing hang on style color uh oh the place mark here we are let's see if i can find a boat we've got a boat uh probably a boat there somewhere oh boat here we are like boat symbol right so there we are this is me right that's as close as i'm gonna get <laughs> my little boat <laughs> up and down the edge <laughs> and they said you're you they said you're gonna be 150 meters away right so let's check this out right if that if that's correct 150 meters so how much is i i heard it was 50 meters because i looked it up just so I wasn't going to get into trouble. Huh. I looked it up beforehand. So 50 metres is... Uh, that's miles. Let's put it in metres. 50 metres is... Come on. So 50 metres would be very close. Like that close. So 150, he said, you have to be. Well, it's just about there. But he said, your best, your best bet is to go on the other side, which means he's saying, go down here. You know, which yeah. is boring. But in that other side, some military stuff too. Sorry. In that other side, some pack of stuff too. You'll uh, third time lucky. Say again. Uh, in that other side, protected too. No, uh, not necessarily because um, uh, they probably don't want you going near the jetty because that's something to do with the. Uh, the fuel facility up here, but no, no, it's not. No, no, it's all down yeah. this side. So yeah, I'm going to shoot off side. now, Matt. All right, mate. All right, catch us all soon. Mm. Okay, well, you kept us on a bit longer anyway, but that's le that's really good uh, spotting. That was. We'd have to check that shit out. You probably find it only goes back a small distance and stops, but you never know. You never know. Could be a secret underground submarine base there. Oh. 
he's gone. Right. I'm gonna I'm gonna end yeah. it, I think. Right. Okay, so thank you. Oh he's still there. Where, why did he did he disappear? Oh he's back now, there he is. Sorry. Did did I'm you disappear now, off? Bye. Oh you yeah, okay. <laughs> See you then. Bye. I think Take care. All the best. Yeah. Right then, Josh. Um I think it's that time. Yeah. that time. So uh thank you for coming yep. on and uh we shall catch you on yeah. the next one. And uh always fun. Yes, thanks a lot. Okay, we'll speak to you speak to you in a bit. I'm gonna end the stream and I will I'll have a chat with um Urban Legend still hanging on, so I'll have a chat and I'm gonna show him this secret thing. But I I don't know you that well, Camp Busker, so I'm not gonna show you just yet because I don't want it sort of get into the wrong people. So you'll have to excuse me, but this is gonna be a private conversation between me and him. So Okay, everybody, thank That's you. In, thank you for watching.